Mishut, with the permission of the Rabbanim and all distinguished guests, I'd like to welcome you to the second Bikr Cholim of Dallas Gala Dinner. Presented by the Aaron family honoring UT Southwestern Medical Center. We are... Oh, closer. Thank you. We are so happy to be together to celebrate these two wonderful organizations as well as enjoying the beautiful voice and music of Shalom Lemmer. Beaker Cholom of Dallas is dedicated to serving the needs of patients in the Dallas Jewish community and those who visit Dallas to receive treatment in its world-class hospitals. Our goal is to lighten the burden on families experiencing medical and health-related challenges by providing meals, transportation, visitation, respite, hopefully kosher hospitality rooms in area hospitals, a dedicated apartment for out-of-town cholim, free loan medical equipment, and other services. This evening, we honor UT Southwestern Medical Center, a place of cutting-edge research, forward-thinking professionals, and a dedication to treat mind, body, and soul. This dedication provided the opportunity for our volunteers to reach out to more patients and their families in the Metroplex. We look forward to telling you more about this partnership. We're also excited to have Shulam Lemmer here with us, one of the most sought after Jewish singers today. Shulam has performed in front of a wide range of audiences across the Jewish spectrum, as well as those of other faiths. Lemmer made history in the, as the first born and raised Orthodox singer to ever sign a major record label deal in the United States. At this time, let us stand and acknowledge this wonderful country that provided us the freedom to practice our beliefs and give tribute to the country where our soul lies. Please welcome Shalom Lemmer to sing the Star Spangled Banner and Hatikva. <laughs> Not our pain, leave. 
Since it is on our mind now, the state of Israel, we can't not remember what's going on and say a prayer also for the soldiers, for the Israeli Defense Forces. They should be safe. They should keep us all safe. Misha Beach, the Chayal Eitzahal.
One more prayer, and then you can all sit down. <laughs> if your feet are hurting, you can sit down already. But let's dive and let's say, say a prayer for all the people in Israel. The Achenu B'nai Israel, our brothers and sisters that need our safety, our tefillos that need safety. Achenu B'nai Israel, Hanesun and Batzara. Feel free to sing along. As we know, a prayer of a tzibur, a community singing together, is way more powerful. Thank you, Shalom. Ladies and gentlemen, Shalom Lemmer. I'd like to take this time, please sit, sit and uh, enjoy. I'd like to take this time to thank everyone who helped put this evening together. First and foremost, Yitti Adler Denziger, our incredible administrator, who was juggling a myriad of out of town and local clients among them 10 women here for uterine transplants at Baylor with recurrent appointments monthly, all while coordinating all the dinner activities. Your dedication is incredible. Thank you. A bar mitzvah of her son did not stop Sarah Heimowitz from handling details with Simcha Catering, coordinating with Yitti and joining with our presenting sponsors, the Aaron family, to make sure everything was done at the highest level to make this evening a success. We also want to thank Carol and Don Aaron. Who helped to plan this evening, creating a fearsome foursome with Yitti and Sara. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank Sarah Mernick and Rachel Gargier for doing the floral arrangements. Additionally, I have to thank our board, Nini Craven, Shani Fox, Jethro Solomon, Debbie Gubin, Carol Wallenau, Danny Strassman, Gabi Heimowitz, and Nama Weingarten for the endless tasks they took on. 
We would like to recognize the staff from Baylor's uterine transplant group who have joined with us this evening. We're awed by your work and dedication and truly appreciate our partnership with you. Thank you to Simcha Catering and K-Market who constantly donate food for our clients. To Malki Ozeri for her help in cooking and coordinating for patients in nursing homes. I'd also like to thank Bill Finkelstein for his sage advice early on and helping by reaching out to friends to participate in this dinner. But this dinner, its honoree, and many of you here owe a debt of gratitude to David and Sandra Veter. I'll embarrass you for five seconds, David. Sandra for loaning David to us, and David for his tireless efforts to roll up his sleeves and reach out to his friends and put Beaker Cholim on the map. David called me many times to say, I'm not doing this until, unless we're doing it with the whole community. This is not just an orthodox thing. This is for everyone. David, as the logo my wife Dina created says, one voice, one community. We couldn't agree more. I'd like to turn our thoughts to the upcoming holiday of Passover, where we remember how we marked our own homes so that they would be passed over so that our families would join with the rest of the Jewish people and make the arduous journey through the desert and to the promised land. I know that if David was around then, he would have been running around getting people to mark their houses to include more of us. David, if I could call you and Sandra up for a brief moment, we'd like to present you with this mezuzah. We'd like to present you with this mezuzah, a symbol throughout history of our identity that brings us all together. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, stop me if you heard this one. Rabbi Y.Y. Jacobson relates the following story. There was a poor old man and his son who lived on a farm. The son was in his late 40s and his father was in his late 80s. It was a bitter, cold winter, and they only had one coat to share between them. And they got into a fight about who gets the coat. The father says, I'm 88 years old. If I don't get the coat, I could die. You're a young man. You don't need the coat. The son said, I'm out on the farm all day, supporting the family. I'm working outside. I need the coat. You're inside. The argument became so intense, each one arguing back and forth, it's my coat, it's my coat. They went to the rabbi to decide who's right. The rabbi thinks for a minute and says, the son is right. The son is working outside. He's in the cold. The father can go find some firewood. He can build a fire. He's inside. The son needs it because he's exposed to the elements. He's happy. As they leave the rabbi's office, he's walking with his father to the farm, and he sees his 88-year-old father, and he's trembling. He's cold. He thinks to himself, how awful can I be? I won the argument, but I lost the battle for basic human decency. How could I treat my father like this? He takes off the coat and says, here, Dad, take the coat. And the father's happy. The next morning, he sees his son going out to the farm to work, and he's trembling from cold. He looks down and he says, son, my dear son, you take the coat. But now they're back to fighting. It's your coat. It's your coat. You take the coat. It's your coat. I don't need it. You take the coat. So what do they do? They go back to the rabbi. They're arguing all the way to the rabbi. The rabbi is looking at them stroking his long beard, and he says, wait one second. He runs upstairs, he goes into a closet, he takes out a coat, and he brings it down. He says, now here you can both have two coats. What's the problem? Great answer. The old man looks at the rabbi and he says, this you could have told me the first time around. Why did I have to go back and for you to tell me that you have an extra coat? 
the rabbi responded with an interesting psychological insight. The first time around, the two of you came in screaming, it's my coat. The father was screaming, it's my coat. The son is screaming, it's my coat. So subconsciously, I was also screaming, it's my coat. It's my coat. The second time, you both were screaming, it's your coat. So my soul also began screaming, it's your coat. Let me share my coat with you. Bikr Cholim of Dallas is comprised of people that will take that coat out of their closet and sometimes even, strangely enough, the coat off their backs. We impact patients and their families and volunteers. As Zev Glina recently remarked to a Hasidic patient he was driving, it's something good I can do each day. But most importantly, it impacts those who witness these acts. Whether it's the love and care in preparing and delivering meals that Aviva Rosenberg and her daughters Shani, Tamar, and Alana do all while juggling families of their own, or Casa del Craven, the three or four rooms maintained in the home of Nini and Yoshua Craven, or the bar and bat mitzvahs, or high school students that pack care packages for delivery at UT Southwestern, the children who write Get Well cards, Rabbi Avram Tanev, a chaplain at UT Southwestern who opened the door to the chaplain's office for Miriam Cassius and Bela Grebenau, our first UT Southwestern volunteers last year. There are too many people to name, and much of this was founded off of the work of the Cohens, Rabbi Sharon and Avishag Cohen. Our 150 volunteers that through osmosis are serving as examples. We all search for the coats in our closets. What a world it could be if we started our days with, it's your coat. If our souls screamed out, it's your coat. Tonight you'll meet donors and volunteers, people who make the services of Beaker Cholim of Dallas happen. Kosher food in our hospitals and at home, Shabbos hospitality, transportation from the airport and back, from homes to medical appointments, visitation, Shabbos care packages, the Sarah Shahanoff Medical Equipment Gamach, and our hospital partners, like UT Southwestern, who has made much of our Shabbos care packages work possible. Rent and expenses for our apartment, meals and food costs for patients and their families, our Beaker Cholim van, insurance, our part-time administrator, the use of hired drivers when we don't have a volunteer, all your funds make this possible. Thank you. Please turn your attentions to the screens for a very short video presentation. Steve was admitted into Clements Hospital at UT Southwestern in 2023 for testing. We were staying over on a Friday night when all of a sudden, someone brought in a bag for Steve. Couldn't imagine who sent it. Why? When peering inside the bag, I noticed it included challah and candles to celebrate Shabbat. The bag indicated it had been sent by Bikur Halim. Who are these people? I was wondering. I could not imagine that I had never heard of this organization. On November of 2023, our son Joseph got diagnosed with ALL leukemia, at that time, when we got the news, our worlds turned upside down. You know, being on the floor of the oncology ward, specifically in a children's floor, there's a lot of precautions taken. You know, the second we mentioned we were Orthodox Jews, we weren't allowed to eat the hospital food. Being observant and keeping kosher, there's not really good options at the hospital for kosher food. From the second Beaker Holland heard about Joseph's diagnosis, they immediately said they're gonna take care of the meals for us and provide us lunch and dinner for the next few weeks. When we came home, Beaker Holm offered frozen meals to be put into our freezer so this way we have it on the emergency. For one month, we were on a meal train. People from all over the community has helped my family through Beaker Holm. How blessed are we that we all have UT Southwestern that supports our community, mind, body, and soul. This incredible hospital comes from a place of yes, 
So it comes as no surprise that they said yes to Bikur Cholim to lead the charge of supporting their Jewish patients. From Shabbat candles and challah to transportation requirements, this holistic approach to supporting the needs, emotional and physical, to our Jewish community is a profound gift. We care for patients coming from every walk of life and every background, whether that's by nature of their faith. Bikur Holom is doing that as we care for many patients who are Jewish, uh, and being sure they and, and their families who are there along their side, you know, feel that the environment is in every way uh, home for them. We are working together with Beaker Choline to be able to achieve that end of whole care, whole support. For my spiritual care team, Beaker Choline gives us one more resource that helps us feel plugged in to community so that we can better serve our patients each and every week. Beaker Choline cares so, so much about everyone else and to walk into these rooms and see them smile and see how much it means to them. They're so excited to get these bags and I really am so much happier when I walk out of the hospital knowing that I really help people and I really made an impact on them. Walking into these rooms, these patients like almost look broken and that they have no hope, but we give them that hope and it's really inspiring for me. Having bigger hole in our community has been a tremendous resource for us. When we would get their help, I would think like, what if Joseph was diagnosed with leukemia a few years ago when when there was no such organization here, and I'm just so grateful to have them. And because of Bigger Fulham, my wife and I feel so much part of the Jewish Dallas community. Volunteerism is uh, really a, a key program within our volunteer program. It's a joy to, to work with the high school students and to be able to help them to meet patients and have life experiences that could be life-altering for them. Maybe they'll work for us someday. These Jewish patients, like, sometimes they're alone, sometimes they have family, but at the end of the day, they feel alone. They don't have their community with them. They're in the hospital, and each step Western, they make sure the rabbis are going to be there. They make sure that Bigger Holm is there. Each step Western makes sure that everyone has exactly what they need and exactly who they need to support them. We want to ensure that everybody in coming to UT Southwestern feels they're in the right place for themselves, that this is a place where the care is informed by understanding their needs. This is truly an unsung hero of our Jewish community. How refreshing it is to know that people devote their time and energy, free of charge, to support strangers that are Jewish patients in our community. I never would have imagined that my Shabbos bag would be one of the thousand Shabbos bags that were distributed in 2023 at UT Southwestern. What an amazing amount of kindness, work, collaboration between Bikur Hulim and UT Southwestern. We wish both partners success in mending bodies and souls for many years to come. There's a quote from Maya Angelou that sums up our feelings. Learn that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Shalom Lemmer. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it, New York, New York, these vagabond shoes are longing to stray right through the very heart of it, New York, New York, I want to city that doesn't sleep and if I am a king of the hill top of the heap these little 
town blues I'm melting away I'll make a brand new start of it In old New York If I can make it there I'll make it anywhere It's up to you My name is Shulam, and as you can see, I'm from New York. But it's an honor and pleasure to be here with you in Dallas tonight. But like mentioned earlier, I come from New York, you guys from Dallas, but we all share a place that we call home. That is the city of Yerushalayim, Jerusalem, also known as the city of gold, Yerushalayim Shel Zahav. Alfei shmashot zorchot 
sing Chazar Noel Barot HaMayim, which was added to Yerushalayim Shazahaf, seeing the beauty of Yerushalayim after the Six-Day War. It just reminds us also that we are still at war. And we just did a prayer, a tefillah, for all of the Jewish people in Israel, but also the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces. I want to sing... A beautiful song, famous song from Les Mis called Bring Him Home. But I switched some of the lyrics to reflect the situation and the hostages in Israel to bring them home. May it be very soon. You can 
But just like everything else, we've seen generation after generation. But I'm Israel, the Jewish people always rise up again and we get stronger and better. You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round. And you can find that fighter, but I see it in you, so we're gonna walk it out. Move, move mountains. <laughs> move. Sometimes we feel like it's impossible. But we all know we've been there before. And what we've gone through, we know that we believe in miracles. 
When do miracles happen? When we believe. Some 
This is probably everyone's dream to see the ultimate miracle, the Geula Shalema Bimhedavi, I mean, very, very soon. But you all have other dreams as well, and it's okay to have different dreams. We're allowed to have more than one dream. One of the dreams is to have a successful Bikr Cholem with everything we need, all the help. But really, the real dream is to not need Bikr Cholem at all. Everyone should be healthy and live till 120, gesund height. But we all have dreams and aspirations, hundreds, thousands, even a million dreams. waiting up for me that I call my own. Through the dark, through the door, through when no one's been before, but it feels like home. I can say it, can say it all sounds crazy. You can say say I've lost my mind I don't care I don't care if they call me crazy we can live in a world that we desire
for this beautiful world. This incredibly beautiful world, each and every one of us, with the help of Bikr Cholam, this beautiful world, we're gonna make. So we're all here tonight, we're all getting together, all different kinds of people. Beaker Column of Dallas seeks to expand its reach across the entire community, breaking down all walls of different affiliations and meeting people where they are, bringing the community together. The Aaron family and Carol and Steve have been synonymous with the Dallas community for decades. Their consistent involvement care and philanthropy are the hallmarks of kindness and enable the success of so many institutions, from our JCC to the legacy communities, to name just a few. I'd like to call up Carol and Dawn Aaron to present a gift to our honoree, UT Southwestern Medical Center. Thank you. I just want to say that this has been a wonderful experience for everybody in this room, and we're deeply honored to be here tonight to recognize UT Southwestern Medical Center for their invaluable partnership with the Kaur Halim of Dallas. <clears throat> Building a thriving community requires the collective efforts of various entities from institutions to individuals. We are all working together toward common goals. At the heart of these collaborations is the realization that it takes two to tango. And who better than UT Southwestern and Bikur Holim, both healing the physical and spiritual needs of their patients. As you've heard many times tonight, Bikur Holim with its wonderful volunteers. It transports the patients to doctor's appointments, provides the kosher meals and the Shabbos bags. It extends the hospitality to those from out of town requiring medical attention. And it's available to sit with patients who have no one. How special is that? That this small organization affords all of these services at no charge to the patient or the family so much for so little. This partnership has certainly captured all of our hearts tonight. And Dawn and Todd, Steve and I, are honored to recognize this invaluable contribution it brings to the medical and spiritual needs of our Jewish community. UT Southwestern stands as a beacon of hope and healing in caring for those in need, mind, body, and soul. Given its world-renowned status, exemplified by numerous Nobel Prize winners and in innovative research, UT Southwestern not only attracts exceptional talent, but also significantly enhances the quality of life for so many in our community. In honoring UT Southwestern, we also acknowledge the vital role 
that hospitals play in our lives, serving as places of compassionate care and support. This positively impacts and enriches countless lives with their unwavering commitment to providing world-class health care. So tonight, as we present this award on behalf of Bikur Kholim of Dallas, we extend our heartfelt appreciation to Dr. John Efron, Executive Vice President for Health System, Affair System Affairs for his distinguished leadership. Additionally, we wish to honor Dr. Dan Podolsky, recognizing his invaluable contributions to UT Southwestern. Unfortunately, Dr. Podolsky was unable to join us tonight for this lovely evening. This award is a testament to the steadfast dedication and enduring impact of UT Southwestern on our community. Thank you. Wow, this is, uh, this is, this is absolutely uh, beautiful. Um, well, thank you to the, Aaron fam to the Aaron family. Thank you for all that you've done, and thank you for helping this organization get to where it is and create, helping create this partnership between Bikol Hameen and um, uh, UT Southwestern Medical Center. Um, many of you don't know me. Indeed, um, my wife Jamie and I have only been in Dallas for uh, three months, so... This truly is an honor for me. Um, this is really our first introduction to the Jewish community here. And I think we heard in that video today, which was a beautiful video, um, the word community a lot. And community is so key. Um, that video represented the true nature of this organization to tirelessly help people um, working with all the medical institutions in town, but we particularly value their partnership at UT Southwestern, and indeed their partnership with our, with our partner organization, Children's Medical Center of Dallas and the Children's Health System. Um, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about my background uh, and my community. Um, I, uh, my, uh, Grandfather left Lithuania in the early 20s and went to Cape Town. He was, I think, the first, if not the first, one of the first Orthodox rabbis in Cape Town. And I have many memories of him, but one memory is particularly when we were visiting when I was very young about the community that was created around him, the, 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 the burgeoning Jewish community in, in Cape Town. Now, I have to say he was also the only moil in Cape Town, so I think that was really why everyone knew him, and not so much being the rabbi. Um, but that sense of community that uh, we can see so clearly tonight and we, we can feel um, is so important for healing. And at UT Southwestern, our, our, we have many missions. We're trying to cure disease. We're trying to provide the best possible health care we, po we can. But part of healing is feeling that you are a part of a, of a community and that indeed, you, when you need to worry about things that you shouldn't have to worry about when you're ill, it prevents healing. So I can't stress enough how important this organization is to this Jewish community as its individuals continue to heal from devastating diseases. Um, a happy face, a warm face, a welcoming face, a Shabbat package, there is much to be said. And uh, uh, there is so much that, that, that represents to an indiv individual who is, who is suffering. So on behalf of Dr. Podolsky, who I have to tell you was brokenhearted that he couldn't be here, um, we at UT Southwestern 
uh, thank you for this wonderful award, but more importantly, thank you for your partnership as you help us care for the Jewish community here in Dallas. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carol and Don. Thank you so much for that, for those kind words. While Beaker Column has many services, please be on the lookout for a new medical referral database that we're working on. Uh, just that should be coming up. Um, but we want we have many services enabling our volunteers to connect to our clients. Please welcome Scott Bennett, one such client that was touched by Beaker Column of Dallas. First of all, I just want to take a minute to say thank you to UT Southwestern, um, all of the medical professionals there, but really all of the medical professionals in this room. I cannot tell you how grateful I am for everything that you do to heal people. And I also know tonight there are some pretty compelling presenters that we will see in the news tomorrow, but I am in fact the most blessed presenter tonight. My name is Scott Bennett. 317 days ago, on April 28, 2023, I received the blessing of a lifetime, a life-saving heart transplant at UT Southwestern. It was not something that was planned, and the circumstances surrounding the episode were frankly miraculous. <clears throat> but tonight, however, I am not here to talk about myself or my new perspective on life. On May 12th, 2023, it was a Friday afternoon. Not just any Friday afternoon though. While I was 27 days post heart transplant and alive, I was not in Athens, Georgia with my wife Lee and our two daughters, Sydney and Lindsay. That was planned for so many months in advance to celebrate my daughter Sydney's graduation from the University of Georgia, go dogs. Unfortunately, I was still very much on my journey in recovery and any travel was completely out of the question, even if I was strong enough to do it. There was some good news that day, however. I was discharged from Clements Hospital at UT Southwestern and heading to Zale Lipschey Rehab Facilities. And boy, was I excited. That meant in just a few days, if I was strong enough, I would be able to go home after what was nearly 40 days hospitalized. I was beyond excited to learn that there was a bed for me and the transfer would be happening that afternoon. In the midst of the preparation and commotion of getting myself prepared and ready to move, two young women showed up at my door with a blue bag. I did not know who these people were or what this bag was or why they decided to stop by my room at all. It was that day that I learned about Beaker Holim. All of the contents of the bag were everything I needed to have a proper Shabbat. With my personal belongings gathered, including my important blue bag, my transfer team arrived to take me down the street. My sisters who are here tonight and I had planned to be with me and celebrate that special occasion watching my daughter graduate. We had dinner and everything ready. I certainly realized that the circumstances could have been very different and the likelihood of me being alive to see it at all was very much in doubt a few weeks earlier. Fortunately, modern technology allows us the ability to watch festivities and celebrations from a distance when we can't be there in person. I was able to view a live broadcast of the ceremonies and see my daughter throw her cap up and celebrate that huge milestone with her fellow Georgia Bulldog classmates. It was truly a special night. But what made it extra special for me was having access to the necessary items to usher in a beautiful Shabbat in my room there at Zale. I was together with my sisters and able to share some special moments that would not have been possible if not for the kindness of this wonderful organization. I won't forget the meaningful flickering lights that were provided in the background from that Shabbat bag as we watched and celebrated. I was so moved by this simple but beautiful gesture and will never ever forget that Shabbat. I wanna take a minute to acknowledge 
two very special dedicated volunteers, the people that showed up at my room that day. We've never met before that day. We're going to see each other again, and I'm really excited to be able to present them. A very special award, Hyla Heimowitz from Missouri High School and Bela Rabinow. These people do something that is so incredible. They lift spirits on Shabbat. So I want them to come up and receive an award and blessed to be able to be here to see it. Thank you again to Scott Bennett, Chayla Heimowitz, and to Bela Grebenow. Thank you so much. You guys saw them in the video. They do this every single Friday. Uh, it's sometimes two or three hours on a Friday. Uh, but, you know, hopefully we'll be soon in other hospitals and uh, we'll have opportunities for many of you to uh, also participate. Uh, one of our goals here tonight will be to get more volunteers. So we appreciate it. And now please enjoy your dessert and our final set. Hopefully uh, Shulam will be joining us shortly uh, for his final set. And I want to thank everyone who attended this evening. We look forward to growing our community together. Thank you. Yeah. 